Hello all, welcome to the 10th episode of Introduction to Functions. In this session, we are going to talk about a special type of function called as an absolute value function. Now, absolute value function is denoted by two vertical bars as we see on the board, right? Let's understand what this function is all about. An absolute value function is essentially the function which removes or negates the negative sign of x, right? What I mean is that when x is positive, y will continue to be the positive with the same value. And when x is negative, y will just remove the negative sign keeping the same value, right? That's what the absolute value function does. Let's now see how do we plot this function on an xy axis, right? To plot the absolute value function, right, we create a simple xy table as always, right? We give some values of x, get the corresponding values of y, get these coordinates, plot them on the x, y axis and join them, right? That's how we plot pretty much any function in the world, right? Let's do the same thing here, right? So we created a simple table of x, y. When x is zero, y is zero. When x is one, y is one. When x is negative one, y is again one, right? Going back to the definition of the absolute value function, all it does is just removes the negative sign. When x is positive, it will keep the same value of positive. When x is negative, it will just remove the negative sign keeping the same value. So for x is minus one, y will be one. When x is negative two, y is two. When x is negative three, y is three, and so on and so forth, right? So we got these points, zero comma zero, one comma one, and so on. We join them and we see this is how the graph of the absolute value function looks like, which is essentially but a V-shaped graph, right? And we see that the lowest value of y is zero, right? There will be no situation wherein y will go below zero because that's what the function is all about, right? It removes the negative sign. So y will always be positive, no matter when the x is negative or the x is positive. Let's now try to solve uh, an equation like this, right? So essentially what we need to understand is that the entity inside the vertical bars, right? In this case, 2x plus 5, right? That entity can be equal to 9 because absolute value of 9 will be 9, right? And that entity can also be minus 9 because the absolute value of negative 9 is also 9, right? So essentially, when we have to solve something like this, we break that into two scenarios, right? The first scenario would be 2x plus 5 is equal to 9. So 2x plus 5 is equal to 9, and we solve this. The other would be 2x plus 5 is equal to minus 9. And we solve this as well. Now when we solve this, we do minus 5 and minus 5, 2x is equal to 4, we divide by 2 on both sides, and we get x equal to 2. So that is one solution of the equation. Uh, for this one, we do minus 5 and minus 5, we get 2x is equal to minus 14, divide by 2 on both the sides, and we get x equal to minus 7, right? So essentially, for an absolute value function, there will always be two solutions, because each of these values of x will hold good for this, right? Let's see again. When x is two, two times two is four, four plus five is nine, and absolute value of nine is nine, right? So x, x equal to two holds good. When x equal to minus seven, minus seven times two is minus 14, minus 14 plus five is minus nine, and absolute value of minus nine is also nine. So x equal to minus seven is also a solution for this equation. Let's take another example and solve something like this. Right? Our concept remains the same, right? We are not concerned about how many negative signs are there inside the vertical bars, right? We are just looking at the entire entity as a whole. In this case, our entity is this, right? This entity can be equal to five because the absolute value of five will be five. And this ent entity can also be equal to negative five because the absolute value of negative five is five. So basically we have our two scenarios. Our first scenario would be minus seven minus three x is equal to five. And our second scenario would be minus seven minus three x 
is equal to negative 5 and we solve each of them so we do plus 7 here we do plus 7 here minus 3x is equal to 12 we divide by minus 3 on both sides and we get x equal to minus 4 so that is one solution similarly here we do plus 7 and plus 7 we get minus 3x is equal to 2 we divide by negative 3 on both sides and we get x is equal to negative 2 over 3. So these are our two solutions of this equation which will make this equation hold good. x equal to minus 4 and x equal to negative 2 over 3. Hopefully you guys got a good understanding on this absolute value function. What this function is all about? What is the meaning of this function? What does it do? How do we graph it? Right? How does it look like on an x, y axis? And how do we solve any equations related with this function? If you guys like the video, please do like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please do reach out to us at info.mathleaps at gmail.com. See you in the next session.